So hello, Chief. How are you doing? I'm great, Diane. How are you doing? I'm well. Good. You know, I realize that Project Peace sort of wrapped up in February with that culminating event. And so after that successful wrap-up, what has been the focus of the Tacoma Police Department? Well, you know, we've been uh, engaged in a lot of different activities. Uh, I think primarily for us, uh, we've really worked uh, hard on our youth engagement, yeah. which is one of the number one uh, action yes. items that we have. And we've been throughout the community uh, engaged in a lot of different uh, ways uh, to include uh, stopping off at the community centers, our officers on a, nice. on a, a basis when they are, uh, have free patrol time, mm -hmm. uh, at the boys and girls clubs, uh, uh, parks, uh, just whenever we have yeah. an opportunity to have positive engagement with, with the youth. Uh, a couple things that we're that we're working on currently, uh, we're partnering with the fire department uh, and the Boys and the Girls Club on a youth academy uh, out at the South End uh, Boys and Girls Club. Uh, it is uh, targeting middle school students, mm -hmm. and so we have an opportunity to uh, demonstrate what we do for a living. Uh, the firefighters uh, talk about what they do in, in hopes that uh, they have a better understanding of what we do uh, in, uh, as firefighters and police officers uh, in the hopes that someday uh, they may be firefighters or police officers themselves. And so yeah. that's one of the goals that we have uh, with a positive interaction. Uh, we are looking at a uh, Youth Leading Change uh, event with the um, Safe Streets organization mm -hmm. uh, starting in January where we're going to have high school age students we'll be working with uh, in regards to what we do uh, for a living uh, and what we do on our daily job so that they can learn about uh, police officers uh, in what we do on a daily basis. Uh, with the purpose of, of building trust yes. and building those relationships with our, right. with our youth. A lot of youth engagement. That's yes. critical, I we're, think. We're, we're looking at the leaders of the future yes. for our community. Yes. And so have you been, I understand you've been doing something recently around community engagement. Can you talk a little bit about that? Certainly. One of the things that, uh, that we're working on is uh, the White House Open Data Initiative. Yeah. We are one of about 55 to 60 uh, police departments across the country that is involved in this initiative. Mm -hmm. It's part of the uh, 21st Century Policing, uh, yes. President's uh, 21st Century Policing Initiative yeah. uh, and Open Data yeah. and so we can be more transparent in regards to the information that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, to our community uh, from our department. Uh, right now we're rolling out uh, two data sets. Uh, the first one is on uh, officer involved shootings yeah. uh, and then the other is on uh, officer complaints and uh, the uh, dispositions of those complaints. Yeah, I know those were two of the big things that came up during Project Peace conversations. Right. So um, now that you're rolling out this data, what sort of reactions and responses are you getting from the community? Well, we've had one uh, public meeting so far, and uh, yeah. we got a lot of positive feedback in regards to just being out there with our community oh, and demonstrating yeah. that we are uh, sharing this information uh, to them. Uh, we got a lot of great feedback from our community members. Uh, some of the things that they'd like to see is, is just that, uh, us being out in the community, mm -hmm. talking about what we do, uh, explaining why we do certain things. Uh, and so uh, some of the feedback was, was on, you know, they'd like to see more information yes. uh, coming out to the community, which we'll be working on in the future. Yeah, it sounds like transparency is a really important issue to our community and actually to police departments around the country. That is absolutely correct. And, uh, you know, we're as being a part of our community, we serve as we should be, uh, being open and uh, being transparent uh, as an organization, uh, particularly this day and age uh, where we're seeing a lot of issues and throughout many communities is critical yes. for us to build that mutual trust, uh, mutual understanding right. uh, as a police department and serving our community. Right, yeah. Well, I just want you to know we really appreciate everything that you and the Tacoma Police Department is doing, especially being so involved in the community, just historically and right now, which seems to be a really critical time. I was at a community meeting um, last week, and a gentleman talked about how impressed he was that you came to one of their community events and the way you interacted with the children. He believes, and I believe that that kind of community engagement is what's really going to build trust between the police department and our communities. Well, thank you. So, thank you. Well, thank you. And, I, and I'm a kid at heart. <laughs> so, uh, that's easy for me, a role to play, especially with our youth, because it is critically important to be engaged with our community, especially our youth. Yes. And uh, I just want to thank you for, for all the work that you've done uh, and our partnership with your department uh, throughout the course of Project Peace as we move forward and we'll continue to partner and uh, build those great relationships uh, with our community together. Yeah, it's thank a you. pleasure. See you, See you next, next time, time on Talks, Talks with, with TPD. TPD.